Greetings. Greetings and thank you for joining this Movement Medicine Morsel this morning. So the purpose of these little episodes are to have a touchstone for all of us so that we can find a safe port in the storm, so to speak, that we can tune in to our natural resources within, to our nervous system regulation of calmness and stability, so that we can feel our bodies and get out of our thoughts, um, balance ourselves in that way. And we do this through simple, gentle movements, awareness of breath, awareness of interoception. Interoception is feeling what's happening on the inside, in our organs, in quiet, uh, recessed parts of the body, and also feeling the thoughts and emotions that do associate with embodying coming into our bodies. So today we're going to experiment and experience breathing, a little bit more detail and awareness on breathing, and also suppleness of our spine. So it's said that whenever we shine the light of awareness on any part of ourselves or any action, that automatically shifts our consciousness. So as we train our concentration lovingly and gently onto one place, and one action, then we can really make a shift there already. So let's come to sit in a nice, tall, grounded way. We always set our foundation, so symbolically we come into a lovely tall spine with our feet on the floor, our sit bones in the chair, so we're bringing awareness to our feet and their relationship with the ground below us. We're bringing awareness into our hips and sit bones and how they're supported. And then we want to release compression in the spine. So we do this by visualizing rising upwards like the trail of smoke that rises up from a stick of incense or a candle. So that sense of lightness, effervescence, ease. So the channel of the spine is elongated and quiet. Now the shoulders we want to have resting, we don't want them ele elevated as well. So let's inhale and raise the shoulders gently, consciously, and exhale, let them melt while the neck and spine continue to elongate. So the shoulder girdle is moving independently, still connected of course, but it's moving on its own without taking the spine up and down with it. So one more time, gently inhale, and let the shoulder girdle melt down as the skull rises up. And take a moment to feel this, maybe move a little bit, don't lock anything up, and tune into your breath. How is your breath right now without making any changes to it? Are you breathing? That's the first question. Are you breathing? Where do you notice your breath? Is it short? Is it long? Is it focused in one part of the body or another? And just tune into how it is. Always start with where you are. And now we'll use our hands to feel into different breathing spots in our body that help us to awaken to the potential of our breath. And let's rub our hands to warm them up because they're the agents of investigation and the hands happen to be agents of heart energy. So agents of love. And we'll begin by placing our hands somewhere on our low belly where it's comfortable. We maintain our connection to earth and sky through the spine. Soft smile helps all of these practices of embodiment. And as we inhale, let's breathe right into our body where our hands are touching. So we feel a swelling and expansion here. And exhale, let all of that out. We're changing our volume. We're bringing something more in. We're bringing in more air. And imagine that our lungs are stretching right down into the belly and as we exhale, we're letting go of something. Our volume is shrinking. 
Inhale, feel that volume expand. And take your time, really savor this. There's no rush. Exhale, we empty. And one more time here because we have other breathing spots. Now as we move into the next breathing spot, just pause a little bit. Let the hands rest and savor the echo of breathing into the belly. Now we're not going to replace this breathing with anything different, we're going to add to it. So this is still happening, but now let's place our hands somewhere on the sides of our waist. So this depends on where you're comfortable. You could even do like this, so you're touching the sides, or any part of your hands, it really doesn't matter. It's the contact that matters. So we have some contact here, and now we're going to focus our attention and our breath into these contact points. So let's exhale first on this round, and inhale into the hands and the sides. See if you can direct the breath. I like to call this cobra breathing because it reminds me of the flaring of a cobra's hood. So the sense is we want to expand this way, but maybe you're not going to feel any movement right away, but you'll feel energy. So the first step is awareness, attention, and gently guiding. We don't want to strain our concentration. We don't want to furrow our brow. We want to stay relaxed because that's where learning happens. And we're simply feeling into the sides of our body and how does breath influence the sides of the lungs. And let the hands rest and feel the echo of this. And is anything changing for you? Is your awareness of your body shifting? Is your awareness of your breath shifting? Now let's go into the back. In a moment I'm going to turn around, but my microphone will pick up none of my voice when I do that at this point. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this. We want to feel into the back of the body. That can be palms in, sides of hands, backs of hands, whatever you like, and you can even round over a little bit. And we want to now place our hands comfortably here and feel into the back of the ribs and the back of the lungs and imagine this area is the only area that exists at the moment. We're going to let that move. As though your lungs are gills and they're spreading wide and then gently retreating back in. Inhale, breathing into the backs of the lungs. Oh, one more trick or tip. If you're sitting in a chair with a back, you can lean back into it and allow that to be the feedback so that you're feeling into the breath moving into the chair back. Of course, a pillow or an upholstered chair makes that even nicer, but that's a way that you can feel the back as well. And now put your hands down and see what does that feel like. We've gone into the belly, the sides, and the back. Is anything changing? Are you slowing down a little bit? Are you feeling a bit more resilient, a bit calmer? One more spot, there are many more, but let's just do one more for today. We're gonna to use our thumbs, built-in adjustment tools, and we're going to lightly place them right in the pit of the arm pit, and then have the fingers, the inner border of the index fingers, just resting on the chest. Now it's up to you where your elbows are, um, a little bit away from the body if you can manage it. They can be a little higher up, but again, we don't want any strain. And as you exhale, feel this area gently narrowing, naturally narrowing. And as you inhale, fill in towards the armpits and the upper chest. And don't be afraid of breathing into the chest. Some of us have become afraid of this because we've been told chest breathing is incorrect. That's not the whole um, answer. Chest breathing is part of healthy breathing. 
We want the chest to breathe. The lungs live inside the chest, but we don't want to only breathe in the chest. That can be a very isolated, separate kind of breath. We want the chest to breathe and all of those other places that we visited, it is a village team effort. And now you can rest your hands on your lap or put them in your favorite breathing spot and with your mind, collect all of those places we visited. Think of the armpits and the collarbone area expanding as well as the sides, belly and back. All of that is expanding together and all of that is deeply relaxing together. Keep your spine nice and tall and easy and notice how you feel. And now we're going to gently add a few healthy supple spine movements, basically going through the anatomical movements of the spine because I like to say to my experiential anatomy students, you're welcome to argue with anatomy, but just know you're never going to win. So we have to follow the laws of nature, and when we smoothly fall in with the laws of nature, that's when beautiful expansion and transformation can happen. If we're always fighting something, whether it's our thoughts, natural movement, we're always going to lose energy because we're fighting a losing battle and we're not going to have the energy we need for what we really want. So we've already done one of the five movements, yay, and that is vertical alignment. That sense that we are connected to the sky, suspended, and also rooted to the earth. So see if you can sense the two ends of your spine from the tail right up into the center of the skull because that's how high the spine comes up. Feel them gently stretching in two directions so you're nice and long. That's movement number one. And we want to remind ourselves of that movement all throughout the day, whether we're sitting, standing, and into all of the other four movements we're going to do. So two movements come nicely together and they are flexion and extension. I'm going to move back a little bit. If you practice yoga, you know them as cat and dog. So with our vertical alignment, inhale here, exhale, let the waistline bow back and let the body naturally fold. On the inhalation, let the waistline come forward and let the body naturally follow. And let this flow. We've just spent some time relaxing into our breath. So keep adding, keep bringing the discoveries with you. We're not leaving one thing behind and going to something brand new. We are layering, layering to create richness. And let your belly relax so that it can stretch when you arch your back. And let your back relax so it can release. Actually, release is a better word because we're not doing something extreme enough to feel a stretch. We want to feel fluid movement, movement with ease. I like to think of this sometimes as a bit more about the bones than about the muscles. Now, if you move your bones, the muscles are going to come along with it. That's naturally going to happen. But we're not pushing. We're not pushing ourselves. This is a therapeutic and a mindfulness technique. So now we've done three. Now let's do some rotations. So always vertical alignment. Take one hand to the opposite thigh, other hand behind, and gently rotate the belly, the chest, the throat, and the face. And just be here. Be here and breathe. I'm bringing my head back again for sound quality. But just for the fun of it, let's do that. So from the shoulders down to the hips, we're in a rotation. And as you turn your head to the back, exhaling, and then just the head comes back quietly to the center on the inhale. Do this gentle rotation of the head and eyes a couple of times. and then bring everything back to the center, remembering your vertical alignment. 
If you want, you can move a little bit and see how does this feel. Breathe, let all of your breath flow. And let's do the same on the other side. We're going to come to the full gentle rotation. And then we're going to be there a little bit and then turn the head. So hand to the opposite thigh, free hand behind. Zip up your energy on the vertical on the inhale. And gently twist around on the exhale, belly, chest, throat, face and breathe, smile. See if you can feel all those breathing spots, back, ribs, belly, armpits, chest, the whole of you breathing. And on an inhale, just the head comes back. And then exhale, just the head so smoothly. No jerky movements, nothing extreme, so smooth and flowing. And bring everything back to the center and just see how that feels. And the last movement is also paired lateral flexion, side bending. So let one hand rest by your side and like hang, let it just hang. And as you exhale, let that armpit and hand move towards the ground as though you were going to pick something up that's on the floor. Let your head side bend as well. And on the inhale, gently come up and get nice and long here. And exhale, feel that side bending. Of course, the other side gets to relax. And then come back up. And let's rest that hand on the thigh and feel into that for a moment. Where do you sense awareness? Other hand resting. Exhale. That hand pours towards the floor, side bending the neck, because of course the neck is part of the spine, and then coming back up. And this is a beautiful way to side bend if you've got shoulder afflictions, because we don't have to lift our arm overhead. We're really feeling into the side of the body. All right, let's rest here for a moment in vertical alignment. And let's do one of each. So vertical alignment is always part of the package. Take an inhalation and elongate. Exhale, round the back. Inhale with all of your parts and arch. Exhale, round the back again for good measure. And inhale, come nice and tall. Exhale, rotate to one side. Inhale, center, floating. Exhale, other side. Inhale, center, hang the arms. Exhale, side. Inhale, up. And exhale, side. And inhale, up. We're going to do this one more time. And you can choose to come and stand up with me if you want just that one variation, or you can do it one more time seated. Now remember, what have we worked on today? We've focused on quality of breathing and the quality of our spine. So standing or sitting, feel your feet. And if you're standing, just bend and straighten your knees a few times because we'll allow for some of that as well and zip up nice and tall using your spine and everything that you've learned. Inhale, exhale, round the back and bend the knees if you're standing. Inhale, gently straighten up and arch. Exhale, bend the knees and round. Inhale, come to vertical. Exhale, rotate to one side, wrap the arms. Inhale, sail around to the center. Exhale, wrap. Inhale, come tall. Exhale, side bend. If you're standing, you can bend those knees. Inhale, come up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, come up. And one more round. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, arching. Breathe with the whole of you. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, vertical alignment. 
Exhale, wrapping. Inhale, centering. Exhale, wrapping. Inhale, centering. Exhale, softening to the side. Inhale, all the way to vertical alignment. Exhale, softening. Inhale, rising. And exhale, resting the hands on the low belly or your favorite breathing spot. Pick your favorite. Feel your vertical alignment, your connection to the earth and your foundation, your connection through the center of the skull rising up to stretch the spine to your suspension, your soft smile and feel the breath in the belly, sides, back, armpits, chest, and sense yourself. How do you feel? Do you feel different than you did before you began? And this brings us to the end of our practice today. I thank you, thank you, thank you for your beautiful attention. I hope these little episodes make a difference in your fullness of yourself, body, mind, spirit, help you stay calm. I know they help me a lot, so I thank you for, for your participation in this. And may you have a beautiful next portion of your day or evening. See you next time at Movement Medicine Morsels. Bye.